Welcome guys! This will be my first video shot in English. I'm a young guy from Germany and I hope that you will understand my dialect very good. Um, um, this will be a little experiment. European trucks are not what I expect when thinking of pickup trucks. So. I bought myself this thing here. It's a second gen Dodge Ram, um, model year 99. Um, actually, it's the, the grandson of my first American truck um, in Germany, known as a US car. Um, my first truck was a 2001 Ram 1500 with the 5.9 Magnum. Um, the second truck after that was a F250 Super Duty with a 7.3 power stroke and after this one I got a 5.9 Cummins in a 99 Ram. The Rams are all black, uh, only the Ford was golden, um, harvest, harvest gold I guess was the color. Um, yeah and I will do a little experiment because American trucks are some kind of a, mm, let me say, niche in Germany, uh, maybe in Europe. So content you produce containing American trucks and, and, and working on them, repairing stuff, uh, tuning them, upgrading them, does not get that much views in Germany. And I experience all the time that my content does not get a single view from other countries, maybe from other European countries, but not from English speaking countries. And I don't get English English comments under my videos. So is it because I don't speak English in general? Is it because my video title is not written in English? Is it because there is no translation, no subtitles? I don't know. So I said, let's see, let's find out if I produce a video completely in English, talk in English as good as I can. I hope you understand what I'm talking. Um, will this change the views I get on my video? And because I know Americans like trucks, trucks are natural in America as it is a VW in Germany. Uh, I think this could be very interesting. So in this video, in the first video, if it works, I will do more for you. I'm gonna let you know a little bit about what it's like to drive an American truck in Germany, why I drive an American truck in Germany, and also about my truck here in Germany. Actually, I don't know when it, when it was imported to Germany. We got the same problems with these trucks as you in the United States, they rust. <laughs> That's uh, just the same, I guess. Uh, they are today quite expensive uh, when we talk about fuel economy. But I think that filling up the tank in the US is still a little bit cheaper than it is here. I pay around yeah, 250 to 300 euros for a full tank of diesel. At the moment, that might be nearly the same in dollars. Yeah, so that's the first thing. Um, yeah, let me show you my truck. Uh, the interior, black leather as you can see. It's full of stuff <laughs> as you can see. I got my tools back there, I got uh, a toolbox back there, I got trash over there, I got more tools lying down there. Um, the black leather interior is still in a pretty good shape. Uh, even my, even my, my roof liner uh, is only sagging a little bit from here. So, I guess it's in a pretty decent shape inside. So, front here, I got a little uh, smartphone mount, I got a little CB radio, um, my glow shift gauges, or glow shit gauges, as I heard often 
in American videos. And yeah, the inside looks pretty good. The outside is not that fine, but let me show this. <coughs> oh, welcome. There's another American car. That is what looks like an Escalade. So from the outside, it's uh, all black everything, as you can see. The paint is pretty shitty, as you will see it close up. Um, here are running noses. I don't know how to call them in English. Uh, we call them noses, nasen. The front fenders are quite in a good shape. Uh, I removed the fender flares a few days ago. Um, these have to be have to be new ones they they can't be in that good shape under fender flares after 20 years um, the rear ones look more original <laughs> that's what I expected down there and that's what I got under the rear ones other than that the truck is in a, in a pretty decent shape it uh, has a nice bed I got a nice topper it does not leak a big amount of oil Actually, one drop from the output shaft of the uh, what's the Verteilergetriebe in English? I don't know what's the Verteilergetriebe in English. The transfer case. The transfer case. It leaks one drop of oil out of the shaft of the transfer case each day. The engine is dry. Uh, the transmission is dry. The frame looks pretty good, as you can see. Just a little bit of surface rust in there. I got a set of new tires uh, last week. They also look very great, even though they are a little bit small for the three inch body lift in there. So actually I'm a pretty big fan of the truck. I like it. I like to drive it. I like to fuel it up, even if it's very, very expensive, but it's somehow my hobby. One thing I dislike is that I'm missing the hood ornament all the time I, I own this truck and I miss the grill logo so I got a little grill logo today in the mailbox a guy lasered it for me he posted it in a Facebook group actually and I liked it so I ordered one and that's what I got it's pretty cool so what it's like driving an American truck here in Germany it's uh, sometimes a little bit little bit hard because our streets are pretty pretty small compared to American streets I guess that's uh, the problem most time oh, let me get in there it's a little bit quieter without all the cars um, yeah our streets are a little bit smaller than the streets in the US most of the time I think um, we also got pretty big pretty wide streets but that's not normal um, you get some kind of a strange look from most passengers um, because they don't understand how we can drive such big trucks uh, drinking so much fuel or diesel uh, being so loud being so noisy and producing so much exhaust gases and smelling and whatsoever there are some streets you can't go there are some some parking decks you can't go uh, there are in fact cities that don't allow the entrance for vehicles like this especially diesel vehicles so I can't go into these or I get a fine but most of the time uh, it's pretty cool um, my friends and my family they actually like it um, my wife doesn't but it's okay I don't really care it's I do all the uh, maintenance myself uh, what's pretty normal for you in the US I guess most of the people just drive their cars or trucks or whatever to the shop and let a mechanic do all the stuff all the maintenance all the oil changes all the wheel changes whatsoever um, it's not very common here that you do anything else expect changing from summer to winter tires but um when I but when I had my first truck it was yeah a little bit of uh, 
there's another word I, I I don't know how to to say it in English. Um, I didn't want to do it myself. I I brought a truck to a shop where I have been all my life and told him to do a, an oil change. They did it. It was okay, uh, except for that I had to bring the tools. They don't use. We in Germany normally don't use tools in in inch size. Our ranges have 8, 9, 10, 12, 18 millimeters and not one quarter inch or three eighths or, or nine sixteenth. That's not normal here. So the shop does not have this. I had to bring them to him so that he could do my, my maintenance. A few days later, my, my water pump took a crap. Uh, it blow out while driving. Uh, so I... I again brought my truck to the shop <clears throat> and then it was left there on the lot for two weeks or three weeks and nobody cared and, and, and they, they didn't do it they didn't do it they said they had no time they can't do it now i have i had to get the spare parts myself so i had to order them from the us the water pumps you don't get them here we don't have part stores like Napa or AutoZone or things like that. <clears throat> In Germany you, you go to a shop and the shop orders the stuff and you pay the shop. So they earn money with selling parts. You can't get most of the stuff for yourself. Uh, you can but nobody does. So I had to bring all the parts, the new water pump, the belt, the pulleys and so on. And the shop just left the truck sitting there. But I wanted to drive it. It's my truck. I paid for it. I, I like it. I love it. I want to drive it. So I called the shop and said, I'm going to take it home and I'm going to do it myself. So I watched a few YouTube videos. I got a Haynes manual um, with the truck. And so I started on a Friday night and worked the whole night until Saturday morning. And yeah, I got my water pump changed and the truck was on the road again. And from that point, I realized it's it's pretty easy to repair and maintain such a truck, su such a machine. And that's when this somehow became a hobby for me. I do it to relax. I do it because it's fun. I do it to, to educate myself with new things. And since then I did everything. I did oil pans, I did transmissions, I did brakes. I did bodywork, uh, I did interior, everything. It's just fun, I like it. It's so cool. This is it. This is my first video completely in English. Um, I guess my English is not the worst. It's not the worst you have seen in all your lifetime, but it might be not the best. Um, please let me know, do you understand me? Did I pronounce anything wrong? Did I do something wrong. Would you like to see more videos from me with more information on how we manage to maintain these American trucks in Germany? Do you find it interesting that cars that are normal for you, that are daily business for you, are something special here? If so, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe that would make me very proud of every minute video I produce and I will do my best to keep you entertained. Bye.